When you hear twin fiddles and steel guitars, fat boys hanging at the gosh dang bar. What's that, bro? Yeah, brother. <laughs> a little George Strait tune, a little parody, you know what I'm saying? Sounds good to me. Apologize, dressed like a little radio clown today. Rodeo clown, rodeo clown. <laughs> right. Anyway, you want to go get a drink? A C, C. Oh, C. Yeah. What, tequila deck? Tequila. Alright, let's do it, bud. Oh. Yeah, And just like that, we're back at the bar. What's cracking, fat boy? How you doing, bud? Good, good, how you doing? Yeah, what's cracking, y'all? Back at the bar today. Actually, this is the first time at the bar, I think, uh, like a legit bar vidya for y'all. And we got a special one because you know what? You know, to be honest, you know, yeah. I hate to even talk to these mother truckers like this, but to be honest, man, to be honest. I just don't give up. F anymore. Let's drink, shall we? There's Joe. Okay. Drink noise solves your problems. Boy, so listen to this, man. Fat boy and I, hard, hot day here in Colorado. Mm -hmm. Hard, hot day out here in Colorado, man. We sweat. We rock at the cowboy hats today for a reason, okay? You guys saw that intro? All right? Oh. I'm super excited to try this. Dude, because man. I sent Fat Boy to the liquor store yesterday. Yeah. Set him down at the liquor store. <laughs> Maybe we should start making money of these bitches because of how much you spent oh. yesterday. How much was the receipt yesterday? $410. 410 but No, I think it was 460 Was it four? Yeah, four, that, I think it was 461 well, It was 460 Yeah, 460 dude. I forgot about a couple things. I, I know because it was my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had no problem. They said that number. I was like, put it on the card. So... With that being said, I told Fat Boy, I said, man, I want you to go down to the liquor store and I want you to pick a couple things up that I've been mm. meaning to try for a long time. And this one today, I'm very, very excited That's about. But this one put the biggest debt in my wallet that I've ever spent on liquor in my life. You guys heard the intro? You guys are seeing the cowboy hats? You guys heard the song? Today we're talking about George Strait. Codigo! Oh. Of course, there's a freaking piece of oh. something on there. Guys, look at this gosh oh. dang box right here. This is Codigo 1530. Oh. This guy right here is the Extra Anejo, okay? This is the Extra Anejo. When it comes to tequila, which this is, this is top of the gosh dang line. This some bitch right here was 300 smackaroonies. 300 smackaroonies, can you freaking believe that? Oh. For a bottle of tequila. Okay, I go, uh, I go up here, I get my silver Patron, big fan, big fan. This is what, 30 bucks? 30, 40 30, maybe? 35 bucks, something, something like that. I mean. So when you're talking, and this this right here is some two fingers silver tequila. This is like, like 15, 20 bucks. 15, 17 bucks, something yeah. like that. So That's when nothing. you're talking about tequila, and we're talking about Codigo 1530, which is, it's not legitimately George Straits, but he's a he's basically like, I'm sure he has equity. I'm sure he's an ambassador for it. And I love, and I know you do oh. too, some George Strait. George and I'm Strait. sure a lot of you mother truckers out there do too, okay? So that's why we're doing this, all right? So you may be asking, you're like, $300 for a bottle of tequila? Yeah, well look at the freaking box it came in, all right? This is a magnetic box as well. Check this out. Oh, baby. Thank you, Saint Maria, Mer Mary, or whatever it is. Sorry. Yeah. It's a little, we're doing a little Mexican vibe today, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gotta drink that tequila, boy. <laughs> so anyways, this right here oh. is their top of the line tequila. So they have uh, they have four or five different tequilas, Codigo 1530 yeah. does. Um, this is the origin, the origin, okay? Comes uh, in a beautiful, beautiful wood box. Uh, tells a lot about uh, the tequila over here on the side. This is the um, most expensive alcohol I've ever bought in my oh. life. But when it came to tequila, I'm a big fan of tequila, but like when it comes to tequila, I really, really enjoy a tequila that you can just drink neat and oh. it's just so sippable and so good. You know what I'm saying? So this stuff I've heard very good things about, but you cannot find like, I have, I don't think I've found a review on this Codigo 
Uh, uh, Origin. Yeah. Oh, I've seen so. it on the, you know, on the, I forget what they call their, their just regular silver that's, you know, they can make it in a couple weeks or whatever. Oh, this yeah. stuff takes years, okay? So it's it's very interesting here, okay? Now I'm going to give you guys a close up of this bottle bit here, but this is straight from Mexico, all right? So it was bottled in 2017. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how long it's been sitting in the barrels. I believe this stuff is six year. I believe it sits in the, in the, in the smoke fired oak barrels for six years, I believe. Oh, wow. I believe. Um, I'm not an expert or anything, but I believe, you know, this is the top of the line. This is the first time taking the bottle out. I don't even want to crack this open. Dude, because that of how, is so beautiful. Look how good this looks, man. And yeah. it's a, it's a glass, you can tell it's a glass blown. Let me come over here really quick. Get a close up on that. Let's get a close up of this sucker right here, all right? This is the Codigo, all right? Look at this beautiful wax top with the logo on there. And then the logo obviously on the bottom on the side. I think it's, I mean, with all these glass bubbles and everything in here, I think it's a hand blown bottle. Uh, I, mean, I mean, if you're paying $300 for a bottle of tequila right here, yeah. it should be, yeah. uh, it's $300. I'm, I'll be very It's terrified. worse more than your life. There, yeah, no, I'm, I'm terrified though, I'm scared. Should I? <laughs> all right, <laughs> okay, go ahead, bud. Go ahead. What do you think about that right there, man? I mean, it's just, that is, I don't I mean, even want to open it. Beyond beauty, I mean. I don't even want to open it, man. It looks so freaking delicious. That is like a word. Delicioso. Oh, lo siento, lo siento. Oh, apologize. Oh. How do I say apologize in, uh, in Spanish? Y'all let me know in the comments. I need to learn. I need to learn. You know how? <laughs> no, I mean, I know. I mean, no, uh, uh, no, lo siento is I apologize. Basically, it's, it's I'm sorry. Lo siento is, is I'm sorry. Oh, si, sí, si, sí, lo siento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Okay. I can speak Spanish. No. Gracias. <laughs> Codigo, Oregon. Oregon? Does this stuff come from Oregon? Oregon. Bottled at Oregon. Dude. Hey. Oh, Origin. Oh, Origin. Origin. Oh, oh, apologize. Oh, apologize. Right. Lo siento. Lo siento. Oh, this guy, yeah, see ya. I am super excited about this stuff. Fat Boy, do you want to do the honors of ripping this thing out? Because oh. I'm I'm nervous. I don't even want to do this on the deck. And look at this beautiful wood cork that oh. it comes with. Show him that guy. Oh, wow. Show him that guy right there. I mean, he's that is so sexy. Don't put your freaking fingers all over it, you corona. Corona infested. Well, the alcohol oh. will kill the bacteria. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, you're right, buddy. You're right, buddy. Look at this, man. Stick it right in that bung hole. Oh. Ooh, ooh, yes. Uh, oh. Are you doing it? I'm doing it. Do it good, bro. Do it good. Oh. Oh, be easy, bro. Oh my goodness. Dude, people are gonna be like looking at us in the comments, like, "What are you doing, dude? What? We're doing it for y'all, man!" Oh, 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 it exploded! It popped! Oh my god! Y'all too excited there, dude. That is so sexy. Oh my gosh! Just peeling off that oh, red oh, label right goodness. there, dude. Dude. Oh, I'm gonna savor this bottle for so long. I just hope it's good. I mean, I've never had Codigo tequila before at all. I've had. Uh, I've had all the, you know, the ones people talk about. I've had the good Patrons. I've had the Don Julios. I've had, uh, I've had, uh, well, a bunch of ones I can't even pronounce. Jose Cuervo, which is... Oh, okay, that doesn't even right. count, man. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Come on. I got to get the first sniff. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Sit, sit down so it doesn't focus on you, man. Oh, we ain't oh, got sorry, no camera sorry. guy today. Dude. Bro, oh I, got, I, got, I got too excited. I kind of froze Dude. up on that. It's a dark... I mean, that's straight up, dude, that's like a, I mean, that's like a dark margarita. It's like a dark, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said margarita. People are going to be like, hey, my God, dear margaritas, dude, you're going to freaking ruin tequila with salt. No, it's a dark agave. Oh, I mean, there's three, there's three things in tequila. There's agave, there's water, and yeast. Yeah. That's all tequila is, basically. This right here okay. is the top of the line from Codigo, from George Strait, okay? This is the... Extra Anejo, which the Anejo, I think, I don't, I don't know, I'm not like an expert on tequila or anything like that, but I believe Anejo is, is, uh, is like the, the ones that have been like charred in, in oak barrels thing. or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Might Maybe be extra amazing. charred or something. Or... Yeah, this was like the, the extra long. It's, yeah. it's been in there for a long time, you know? I don't yeah. know what I'm talking about. Let's drink up, dude. Oh. What do we got here? Let's get our freaking glasses right here, okay? I'm going to actually, you know what? We're going to drink it neat, but we're going to put a little rock in here. Because I think, I think just a, you know, it's hot today. I'm kind of curious. I mean, I'm excited. I mean, a little, nice little tequila, one rock. Dude, look at the. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Kobe! Look at the. <laughs> <laughs> what 
the dick, dude. That slipped right out of my hand. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Miss Outlaw got me these for. Look at that thing still spinning right it there. It is, dude. It's doing the spinneroony booker e tile. Oh. Can you dig it, sucker? Oh. Oh. Da -na -da -na. Dude, it's still spinning, bro. Booker T is here. Oh man. And here, just I'm not. I'm just gonna leave it going, man. Here we go. First pour in a Four Roses bourbon glass, guys. I am, dude. I am I'm glad it. to sip this whiskey for you with you right now, man. I'm so glad to sip this. Did I just say whiskey? You did. I was <laughs> waiting to see. I am so glad to sip this tequila with you right now. I mean, just I love me some good tequila. You know, I'm a big bourbon guy. Both of us are. We're oh, big yeah. bourbon guys. You know, I'm actually I'm from Kentucky. But this right here, man. This. I am so ecstatic. You can have Spinner Rooney there. Spinner Rooney. Before Stop we sip this, let me let me check the camera. Make sure it's good. We're still rolling back. We're still rolling back. I mean, dude, just that color and that glass. I mean, I'm gonna give you guys a nice close-up of that in a glass. OMG! That looks amazing. I mean, this is some dark tequila. A lot of people are probably like, tequila? That ain't tequila. Tequila's supposed to be white. No, man. No. Mm -hmm. You can do tequila a lot of different ways. Oh, yeah. Just like any other alcohol. But this stuff right here, I'm super excited to try. I think anybody who's trying this good of a tequila should always try it neat. Cheers, buddy. Is it neat? Is it considered neat if you put an ice cube in it or no? No. So neat oh. translates into straight up. Or that's so neat is the fancy and the correct way of saying dude no additives am i gonna get crap in the comments for putting an ice cube in there i mean you it's might. just so hot it is hot and this bottle is hot because i'm sitting down the truck and i mean dude now, i apologize let's see it though let's see it though let's see it do my currency i sorry i sorry okay. let's, drink it. let's drink it before it melts okay yeah. cheers buddy let's try this out mm. omg omg bud Dude, that is so, that is smoother than water. That is super smooth. There's barely any bite to that at all. God dang, George Strait, <laughs> you chose a good gosh dang tequila to go with. I kind of like it with the ice in there because it makes it a little cool. It does. And oh. that is, dude, there's a chocolate taste oh. after that. This is, oh, I could drink this every night. I should have filled it up a little bit more, but we got a lot more bitches to make. I mean, we do. We got. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. I'm telling y'all right now. Mm. That is, dude, it's so, I mean, oh. the agave is so sweet in that. I've heard a lot about their agave being very good and where they grow it and all that kind of stuff. And they have very clean water where they're at in Mexico. Oh, and, yeah. uh, I think they're in um, uh, Jalisco, but they get the water from somewhere else. I can't remember, Los, Los, Baño? Uh, Los Bajos. Los Bajos. No, Los Bajos. Bottles. No, Bajos. Bajos. There you go, not bottles. This is why I'm north of the border. Yeah, dude, this. Oh. I like think 100%. I would tell you if it sucked, I'd be pissed because I spent 300 bucks oh. on it. Worth every penny. Every. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about getting myself my own bottle after First work. Of all. Yeah, you did get paid today, dude. I did. <laughs> First of all, dude, we're gonna have to hide this. This ain't going on the top shelf. No, we're putting this that in is, the safe. We're gonna put this in the safe. I mean, this is the top shelf right here. We got a lot of stuff over here. We can show you all that later. But uh, oh. this stuff right here, man, is so smooth. It's got that maple chocolatey sweetness after it, which oh, you can it taste the agave. It's still light. It's not like a heavy, like when you get that bourbon, you get the super smokiness. Mm -hmm. You taste the smokiness, but it's really... It's really... It's a hint. It's it's just a hint of smokiness. I mean, you've had like some tequilas... Oh! Where, God. Where you do that tequila and you've got to instantly lick the salt and bite that lime. Or you've got to mix it within a margarita to make it taste good. I've never had anything this great, dude. This one, whether you do it neat, on the rocks, that go would be go. the only two ways to do this tequila. And don't shoot it. Sip it. Enjoy go it. Go. If, you do any, if you mix this with anything... Cody go. It's an insult to the tequila. Cody go. I don't remember how George Strait song, but he George Strait made a song on this called yeah. Cody go. I got a guy Cody go. Yeah, I don't know how you pronounce it really, but he says Cody go. I say Cody go. Cody go. Cody go. I don't know. Okay. I don't even. I, Cody go. I don't know. <laughs> well, Jess, maybe Cody go. What does Cody go stand for? You think? In 1530, I think it was made in the 1530s or 1530 or it is. Uh, yeah, since 1530, dude. Insane. I mean, insane, dude. I can't even believe this right now. Let's put this, uh, this, I'm going to save this cork here, but let's put this special guy on here since we have it. Oh. That just, 
that oh, just that looks is sexy. Sexy right there. Look at that, man. Give him a close oh. up of that guy. That is so sexy. Oh. I can marry that bottle, man. Remember them old Captain Crunch commercials? Well, if you love it so much, why don't you marry it? I'd marry it. Captain Cody, go, dude. This stuff right here is legit. Cheers, bud. Cheers, man. Mm. That is so good. So smooth. Oh. I could. <laughs> I kind of want to fill our glasses up a little bit more. Uh, let, maybe just let's just get a splash for the just end of the video. Splash. Just a little splash for the end of the video. Oh, I'm not going to turn it down. That's so good. Dude, that is the best tequila I've ever had in my life. George Strait, if you're watching this, which I know you ain't. I know you ain't. Oh, thank you, George. <laughs> what, for not watching this? No, 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 for the tequila. For oh, the tequila. Oh, oh, is that what you're saying? Yes. Shut yeah. that, you son of a... You're in my bar. Don't. You're in my bar. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to take off. I'll see you tomorrow, boss. You son of a dick. And I'm taking I'll beat you up, dude. I'm not flexing, dude. There's no flexing no flex on out here. You're looking a little scary. You see what I'm doing with my butt from behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, cheers, buddy. Oh, I'm geez. just going to finish this right off. So, so good. Mmm. And you can hold it on your tongue and there's still no burn. It's insane. Like the coating on the glass. It's like a thick coating on the glass. We should wash these glasses, by the way. God dang, man. I'm looking into the light and it's got your greasy ass fingers all over. You're the one who prepared this fidget, dude. I didn't, so I'm blaming on your ass. Oh, blame it on my ass. I sell this. I sell this. I blame it on your ass like every time you fart. <laughs> so, dude, this is amazing. If you guys know anything about this that I hadn't done, if I made a mistake, and maybe I shouldn't have put an ice cube in it, I apologize. Lo siento, lo siento. This is 100% the best tequila I've ever had in my life. Now, I haven't tried like all these tequilas. If there's a tequila out there that you guys are a huge fan of, you guys let me know, all right? Let me know in the comments below. But this right here tops it. Yes, it's a $300 bottle, I'm sure. I'm sure, you know, this bottle only comes in this. The reason we got the top of the line was because they actually carried it. This is actually really hard to get in some places. They only yeah. carry like one per store and we bought it. So uh, I just figured, you know what, let's do it. I want to make a vid on it. This stuff right here is just absolutely amazing. George Strait, oh. thank you for representing this company and showing it to the world because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have heard of it. I, yeah. I wouldn't have heard of it, man. And this stuff is easily... I, I've said it a million times. I, I don't even need to say it again. Any, any final thoughts, fat boy? Amazing. I'm drinking that the rest of the night, boy. Oh. I mean, dude, I'm not kidding. I mean, you know, I know you're supposed to savor these beautiful, special these beautiful occasion, bottles, special but... occasion type things, but that is so good. Like, it's summertime oh. and it's hot, and there's nothing better than tequila good when it's hot. Tequila. Good tequila. And that is beyond good. Not none of this crap, man. 15 bucks. Yeah. Plastic cap. Three hundred dollars. This stuff right here, man. You can. This stuff's made in Kentucky, dude. All right, come on now. Mixing tequila, sipping tequila. This is straight up. You cannot. I don't want to see anybody making a marg margarita with this. This is no margaritas in my house will be made with this. This is to be drinking neat. Or what's it called with an ice cube? On the rocks. <laughs> On the rocks. I apologize, man. I apologize. I, I think I might have did it wrong. The only reason I did it is because it was so hot. I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, I, I, that was my fault. Fat, fat Boy's the, the alcohol connoisseur, so I apologize. All right, y'all. Well, hey, man, we're still in we're trying to pop out some more videos here on the Outlaw channel. Make sure if you ain't yet, just smack that gosh dang bell and turn notifications on. Because uh, sometimes YouTube doesn't like to put us in your sub box, and we would love to be in there. We mm -hmm. would love to be in you so That's you guys that. can watch, or, you know, in there so y'all watch us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tap that subscribe button as well. And if you guys want to see more reviews like this, because I, you know, I'm a big George Strait fan, but a lot of other celebrities have some alcohols as well. Ooh. I heard Matthew McConaughey. All right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> he's got his own, uh, he's got his own bourbon with, with wild turkey. Ooh. You know wild turkey. Wild turkey. I, you know I'm a fan of wild turkey because they, they were in the same town as me when they I lived were. in Kentucky. Uh, oh. Ryan Reynolds got his own gin. Ooh. Who else, who else, who else, who else? Gosh. I mean, there's a bunch of other. If you guys know any celebrities out there that have some good, uh, some good liquors that you guys want us to try, leave it in the comments below and Ooh. we will try to get them back here in the bar. Back in the bar. Dude, what should we call this bar? I mean, I got one. You got one? How about the Rambler's Retreat? Ooh. How about that? You know, we, we want to retreat here after a hard day. 
We're okay. ramblers ourselves. Hillbilly hangout. The hillbilly hangout? Ooh, that's a good one. I like that one. How about how about this? How about the the bootleggers bar? Oh, how about that? Well, bootleggers bar, hillbilly hangout, ramblers retreat. I don't know, man. If you guys got any so more, cool. let us know in the comments below. I, I sure some of y'all gonna be typing paragraphs because I asked y'all so many questions. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Lo siento. Lo siento. Ah, si. Sí. No, no, si, sí, no, si, sí, no. Oh, that's Chinese. Yeah. Well, jazz. Yeah, good yeah. thing we ain't making money off these anymore because <laughs> we wouldn't be anyways. <laughs> this is Fat Boy, I'm Outlaw, and we're over and out, y'all. Ha! Cause the boys in the woods are always tough. Come talking that trash and we'll call your bluff. Knowing nothing in life but to be a hick. Don't quote me, boy, cause I ain't said shit. Big buck, big, big, big buck.